All right, so today we're gonna make a crappy video. <laughs> I'm waiting all day to say that. I know you have. <laughs> it's been stored up and couldn't wait to unleash it. Today we're gonna to be talking all about the black tank stuff. It's pretty intimidating stuff. So today's video is gonna serve a couple purposes. It's <laughs> gonna show any of you who might not know anything about black tanks and dumping black tanks something about it. And I'm gonna teach Leslie how to do it too in case she has to do it in case I'm not around or I'm incapacitated. For whatever reason she has to deal with the black tank, she'll know how to deal with the black tank. So um, we, will, we will not show the graphic stuff just the basics of how to dump your black tank how to flush your black tank and uh, all that cool stuff Alrighty. and the day that this video posts it'll be my birthday <laughs> so crappy birthday to me <laughs> I've been saving that one too <laughs> Lord. are you ready to learn yeah are you exaggerating Kind of. Okay. Ready, not ready. Yeah. I mean, you don't ever want to have to do it, yeah. but at least you'll know. Yes. So let's head outside and uh, get this crap over with. <laughs> I can do it all day. I can do it all day. <laughs> all right, we're down here in the, uh, I guess what would be the like the plumbing access area, and uh, down here we have our black tank and our gray tank valves. I have them both closed right now. Normally we leave the gray tank valves open. There's another gray tank valve over here uh, for the kitchen. This is just the one for the bathroom. And normally that open, that way when you're showering and using the sink, or whatever, all that water just flows right out. But I did close it last night and I'll show you why here in a little bit. So um, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna make sure before you open any valves that your stuff is still secured at both at both ends now last time I, I did it it was secure but you never know something might have happened some wind might have blew something into it knocked it off some kids might have messed around with the thing and last thing you want to do is open this black tank valve with that sh with that <laughs> you almost, <did> <laughs> almost <did. laughs> the last thing you want to do is open that black tank valve without that hose being properly connected so step one we're gonna open this black tank valve once I open this black tank valve all the the brown stuff is gonna start start coming out now there's a lot of people who have the clear adapters to be able to see into their things to know when it's when it's cleared out and some people put them some people put those adapters up here so you can see what's what's coming through and some people put them down here some people put them both I have it down here because after the stuff passes through here I want to know that all the stuff is out of here so that's why I want to see right there let's open her up so now that I have the black tank valve open the brown stuff is is flowing out I'm gonna let that flow until it's not flowing anymore and then we'll go to the next step all right so the uh, I pulled the black tank valve and the brown stuff is is done flowing so for the next step you're gonna need a hose to flush your black tank some people use their their hose and I, I don't know I, I just got a separate hose just because it just seems a little nasty there's nothing really coming out from your black tank into that hose it's all going from your water source into your flush but still I don't like the idea of the hose that I'm using for my regular water in the RV to be any way connected to the black tank so we got a separate separate hose and we keep it in the black bin mm. black bin holds all stuff for black tank usage now I'm not using any gloves and the reason I'm not using any gloves today is because I'm not actually detaching anything or messing with anything that could get me contaminated um, just messing with the with the hose and like I said it's going from the fresh water source straight into the to the flush now a good item to have is one of these adapters right here because I use a separate hose from fresh to flush the black tank this thing comes in handy that way I don't have to unattach my fresh water hose I can just plug in my black water flush hose right to here and just turn that on. I don't have to worry about disconnecting and connect a bunch of holes.
Because when we first got our RV and the first time I flushed the black tank, it was leaking. It was it was dripping out of here. This is the this is the black tank flush area right here, where I'll hook the hose into right now. And when I hooked this up and I turned it on for the first time, it was leaking out. So what I did was I just got one of the little the rubber gaskets, and uh, it's like a dollar for a pack of five of them at Walmart. So I got that. I put it in there, and I haven't had a leak ever since. So it's been working out. Yeah, just pop this this off and you'll hook your hose in there this is the black flush area so I got that on and got that secure and I still have my black tank valve open for now I'm gonna turn the water on what's gonna do is gonna shoot water into my black tank over the bottom of the black tank and all that crud that's still hanging out in the bottom of the black tank is not gonna get pushed out through the, through the hose Now, once I turn that on, it's going to take a few seconds for that water to get into that black tank and start coming out through here. I'm going to keep this running until I uh, until I see this running clear. Initially, you're going to see some more brown stuff coming through there. I'm going to run this until it's until it's running clear. All right, so we're flushing now, and it's uh, it's starting to run run clear through there. Um, let me show you this little caution it has on here. There's a caution label right there right next to the black tank flush. Now basically all it's saying is don't close your black tank valve while you're flushing because it can result in unsanitary conditions. Which basically like if you push this black tank valve in and you let the water flow for too too much it'll flow into your RV like up out through the toilet. So it says not to close it at all but we're gonna close it anyway. We're only gonna close it for a couple minutes though because what we're gonna do is we're gonna close it while this water is still running and it's going to fill that black tank up just a little bit just to give it some more pressure and kind of swoosh some of that crap around and then that's going to give us a better flush we're going to do this two times so i'm going to close this valve i'm going to close it for two minutes i'm going to let that water build up and then i'm going to release the valve more crap will come out i'll do that twice once you close that black tank valve you look out through your hose and that water will stop flowing so now the water's flowing straight into the into the black tank and it's holding it in there for two minutes now we do it for for two minutes um, which is safe for our size tank so depending on your size tank you might need to run yours less than that if you're scared to do it and just I mean just don't do it just flush it until it's clear and it's good that's the manufacturer recommendation but um, for us, two minutes works, and it doesn't overflow. You can you can run back inside the RV and check the the gauge to see how full your tank is. But a lot of times those gauges aren't correct, so it may or not may or may not be that full. So we're almost at two minutes. So right now we're going to leave the water running, and then we're going to open the valve, and there'll be a rush of water that'll come through here. So you just open the valve after two minutes and it got a good flow out there and you can't see a whole lot more crud so it's working pretty good now we, we do it twice but if you are still seeing a lot of brown then you can flush it as many times as you want but if you're like at a dump station or something like that I just say be courteous and just dump your tanks and then leave and then flush it when you get to your next spot uh, don't just sit there at the dump station and flush all your tanks for a half hour all right so after you flush it for the second time you want to still keep your water running in there and, and just keep it running until the water's running clear again. And uh, so we're to that point where it's running clear again. So now we can turn the, the water off and close our black tank back up. Well, now that we're done with the flushing part and we have our black tank back closed, we're going to leave the black tank closed until it's time to dump it the next time. The reason why is because if you leave your black tank open, then all the liquids will run out and all the solids will be hanging out in your black tank. And then you'll just build a pile of crap. <laughs> and that's no good, it is hard to get out. So, and it'll start smelling and all kinds of stuff. So leave your black tank closed until it's time to dump your black tank. Now, I mentioned earlier that last night I closed the gray tank which we normally leave open. I closed last night and I collected our shower water that we took showers with and stuff. The reason that I did that is because 
when you get that dump in your tank sometimes in this hose there's like some residual stuff like still inside the hose and that uh, the pressure that we built up from the black tank doesn't push out but the gray tank collects enough water to where it's going to really shoot some pressure through there to knock all that residue out through that hose so now i'm going to pull that gray tank and we're going to let that flow all the way out and then we're going to leave it open until the night before it's time to dump the black tank next time we'll close the back and we'll collect that shower water again all right now that you're done with the whole process it's just uh, time to remove the, the hose put it back in the, in the black storage bin store all black tank stuff and just make sure you get all the water out of your out of your hose you don't want to store you know water in a dark wet place <laughs> you know like grow bad stuff so take the hose out and we're all done outside well, we're done outside and now we gotta go into the bed finish up all right so now our black tank is completely empty and the one thing you don't want to do when your black tank is completely empty is to make the first deposit a <laughs> solid because it's just gonna go plump <laughs> on the bottom of the tank and stick <laughs> so you want some water in there now you can accomplish this a couple different ways you can just keep your black tank flush running for a little bit of time but it runs pretty fast and it's kind of hard to gauge how much you're putting in there so uh, I like to do it from the bathroom so what I do is as soon as I get done flushing the black tank I come in here and I just flush the toilet for about a minute and just let the let that water flow through there all right so I ran about a minute's worth of water down there and then I'm gonna put in one of these little dudes they make a ton of different kinds a ton of different scents and things like that but anyway it's basically a deodorizer and it helps break down the, the waste in there so it, it's more liquefied when you go to dump it this is what it looks like maybe you just flush the toilet toss the bad boy down there she's gone now here's a little tip make sure your hands are dry <laughs> when you grab one of one of the little tabbies <laughs> Cause that little outside layer it dissolves pretty quick um, and then what we like to do is uh, just to, to run just a little bit of water in the toilet and you do that just by just doing like a little half flush and just let some water run in there and you'd be surprised how much just that little layer of water sitting there um, keeps the the scent from from coming up through the toilet. The scent's not terrible right now. I'm gonna get the deodorizer, and then the water will sit in there and kind of soak that stuff up. And then you gotta make sure also that every time you're using the bathroom, um, RVs don't have tanks like residential toilets, so there's not like a big reservoir of water that goes down with every flush. If you just go to the bathroom and and then send it down, there's no water. So you want to make sure that you're sending down some water with your with your waste. So that, you're, so that you're getting something for that stuff to dissolve in. Otherwise, you're just gonna, like I said earlier, you're gonna build a mountain of poo. And that's not cool. Nobody likes a mountain of poo. No. Or, or what they call the poo pyramid. <laughs> you don't want a poo pyramid mm -hmm. in, your, in your black tank. So um, that's it from the technical side. Now let's go see what Leslie thinks about how she's gonna handle this. And one of the things I didn't mention, I'm not an expert, but I guess there are RVs out there that don't have a black tank flush valve oh, yeah? and mm -hmm. and so you can accomplish the same thing by just running the water hose in through your RV and down the toilet mm. and it'll just flush right out the uh, okay. stinky slinky too it's cool or if you're having an issue or if your things like clogged up I've heard of people had have their stuff like clogged and so that Avenue they might be having trouble so then try it through your toilet okay. see if that works it out so what do you think exciting stuff it's very exciting <laughs> it had me on the edge of my seat the whole time suspense was killing me every moment so it doesn't you're seem cool it doesn't seem bad yeah and i'm telling you i've said this before if i can do it <laughs> holy crap <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just on fire. <laughs> if i can do it you can definitely do it um, but that is one of the things that I was really the most intimidated about when we started our vegan. It's like, mm -hmm. oh man, because I'm, I'm a, I was a medic and, mm -hmm. and I dealt with all kinds of bodily stuff, mm -hmm. but not generally my own mm -hmm. stuff. 
and it's personal uh, yeah <laughs> <laughs> but I was that was one of the things I was never the greatest with yeah. was the poop I'm yeah. good I mean vomit guts uh, all kinds of blood, blood yeah. whatever spew them snot mm. whatever cool man whatever <laughs> but poo I'm like uh, I'm like Joe Dirt I got the poo <laughs> on me kick and wing get it off <laughs> You were that way when Lauren was a baby too. I man, you, I don't do poo well. You could when she had the explosive moments. Oh, you could uh, not be around. Oh. Yeah. But if she puked, no <laughs> problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, oh, still so something you can handle for sure. I think so. Cool. And it's not like it's not like you have to hand it either. Well, with that process anyway. Yeah. It's not on like a, you have to on handle. A pack up and leave day. Yeah. You, you don't can. have to handle potential poo. Yeah. As long as you follow the steps and make sure your valves are locked on, yeah. you won't have to handle anything that has to do with poo. Mm -hmm. Ain't not gonna get, you're not gonna get baptized. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's so nasty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you be, you probably, I would say like, man, I don't know. I've heard so many horror stories. Yeah. And when we did the the podcast with um, Raw Gypsy, not yeah. quite hippie. He told us his black tank story. Yeah, he did. And I don't know what I would do. Did you know? Yeah. You know, I'd have had to call medics for you. So Leslie, <laughs> <laughs> Leslie's thing is like, no. the thing that like drop, she'll like die instantly. Yes. Is if she falls in water that she can't see the bottom. Yes. Like Lake, she's going out. River. She's ocean. going to sleep. She. I'll probably be out before I hit <laughs> the water because I know I'm going to hit the water. <laughs> for me. Is the poo. So if I'm out there doing the black thing and then like 30 minutes go by, she's like, Where did, what happened? If I got baptized, I'd be out there. <laughs> fast, fast, fast out. Probably some, probably some vomitus. I may have aspirated. You might want to call 911. It's not good. It's not going to be good. I, I've heard that it's not a matter of, of, of if, it's a matter of when. But man, I'm taking every precaution. Just to make sure that I'm not a statistic. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to be that guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Knock yeah. on wood. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, if you have a different way that you do your black tank or you have some tips that will help us be more proficient or cleaner or faster mm -hmm. or anything, leave them in the comments below. Yeah. And uh, like we do every Sunday, we're going to honor a fallen hero. So stick around and, and see that. And then we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.